My name is Brian Cornelius. I'm founder and CEO of Arbar Energy. I decided to start Arbar Energy because uh, we took a look at the shelf and we knew that it was actually already pretty saturated, but it was saturated with a lot of products that were dry, difficult to eat, they tasted like cardboard. So what we wanted to do was make something that was delicious, healthy, and easy to eat. We did that by making it a high moisture content product, which makes it so that you don't have to grab a bottle of water after you eat it, and we wanted to make it a chef crafted thing. So these are seven ingredients or less, they're super simple. Thank you everybody for coming. So the problem that we face out there today in the energy bar world is that a lot of products look just as bad as they taste. But that doesn't end there. Uh, it also, when you eat them and you flip them over and you take a look at the ingredient panel, you see a lot of ingredients. A lot of ingredients you don't recognize. On top here we have a cliff bar, there's about 25 ingredients in there, followed by about another 30 vitamins and minerals. And when you open that up and you eat it, not only do you have to chase it with a bunch of water, but uh, because it is so incredibly dry, but then you actually go try and go for a run with this, and it creates a problem. Of course, the alternative is that you can grab a Snickers, and it'll taste delicious. But what's soy lecithin? Artificial flavor? Actually, we don't even have to disclose what artificial flavor is. Corn syrup and partially hydrogenated soybean oil. These are things that when you're walking down the grocery aisle, you don't know where to find them. And really, I don't want to know where to find them. So the solution is to come up with something that is delicious, healthy, and has seven ingredients or less that you know and can always pronounce. And it's got to be easy to eat, which means that you're not chasing it with a bottle of water. Our product, this is a uh, peanut butter and jelly, has three ingredients dates, dry roasted peanuts, and raisins. So what does the energy bar market look like? Well, it's a sub-segment of the $124 billion snack foods market. It's an $8 billion energy bar market, and we believe that we can hit a $20 million benchmark. And the reason why is because it's been done before. Cliff Bar, Lara Bar, and Kind Bar, all names you probably recognize. All had R&D years, a launch year, and then about a five-year, four to five-year acceleration where they hit about $20 million in revenue. And it was an inflection point. Cliff Bar had an offer come in from Quaker. Lara Bar was acquired by General Mills. And Kind Bar had a VC firm come in and accelerate them even further. So why we think we're going to be the next one is because of our production line, which is scalable, inexpensive, has a very compact footprint. It fits within 1,000 square feet of climate-controlled space, which means that as we grow, we can actually put these smaller manufacturing sites in many cities and still claim to have local production nationwide. And our company culture, which is fun, irreverent, and has lots of grit. And we're always capital efficient, sometimes a little too much. And lastly, we have a very strong emphasis on relationship building, which over the last four and a half years has brought us here. Many of these Names you'll recognize on the bottom, we have a lot of local accounts, and Whole Foods, UNFI, some very large nationwide accounts. In addition to that, we have an emphasis on grassroots. There's a landing page of our website. On the right-hand side, we have all of our social media, which is immediately pushed to our website, so you can see what everybody is out doing with our products. We didn't get here overnight. We went through our own R&D and our launch year last year, where we built relationships with OTG, which is a management company for airports, starting here in Tucson. And Whole Foods and UNFI, UNFI is their distributor. Natural grocers, and also we began providing bars to wildland firefighters. Built two relationships with caterers who feed those firefighters on the line. We've now tripled those relationships and are looking forward to feeding those firefighters who are protecting our wild spaces and homes. This quarter, this first year of this year, this first quarter of this year, we were accepted to the Thrive Program, of which we are incredibly proud to be a part of. We also had our first publication come out where our product can be easily spotted with our logo. And OTG management expanded us to 12 airports on the East Coast, 85 individual stores within them. Revenue is up 82% year to date, 300% in March. We had to raise a little bit of money in order to get here. We raised the seed 
round successfully and a Series A, and we're currently seeking a Series A preferred, of which 60% will be on, spent on marketing, 20% on working capital, and another 20% on equipment, but not just any equipment. The equipment that we're designing is going to revolutionize the energy bar market. When you go out to dinner, you not only expect the food to taste fantastic, but you also expect the presentation to be perfect. With this piece of equipment, we're going to be able to produce our bars that are perfectly round and also have our logo embossed in each one. The team to get this done, myself, I have a background in agriculture where I worked on my grandfather's dairy farm from the ages of 10 to 16 in the summer, a memory that I think back on very fondly. And yes, that is me in a cowboy hat. Uh, in endurance athletics, I used to race uh, road bikes all over the country for about a decade in my 20s. And I've always believed that relationships are the key to any success, no matter what it is that you're doing. Mike Ellerson is our CFO. He's got 35 years of industry experience, 12 years as a CFO. Last, last uh, company that he worked for was uh, Golden Eagle Distributing. Skip Whitley, our CXO, had not only has 40 years of legal experience, but he also keeps morale high in our office by occasionally bringing in pastries from local bakeries. <laughs> so why are we doing this? It's not just because there's a problem. And it's not just because we have the solution. We make our bars because on-the-go people need delicious, healthy, and easy-to-eat fuel. Our customers feel better, healthier, and accomplish more by fueling with our handcrafted products. And yes, occasionally I mix up the words on that one. Uh, but that is a quote from me, and it is on our website, you'll find it on print. But what's really important is drilling down into that last line right here. We help people to be happier, healthier, and wealthier, one bar at a time. Thank you very much.